What's up, YouTube? Hey, look, I know it's been a long time, and I, I'm just gonna make this video really quick, and also something throw out there. Really sorry if I haven't wrote you guys back. I get a lot of emails. I'm so sorry. I've been really busy here with work. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, I'm really sorry if I haven't wrote you back yet. Hang in there. I plan on writing everybody back, and which leads me to this next thing I want to tell you is um, I created uh, I created PotheadsTalk.com, which is basically a place for all you guys to talk to each other. And um, I created it for that reason because I, I started getting more and more busy, started getting more and more emails. I wasn't able to talk to everyone right away. I knew this would be the perfect thing, and it's working. So PotheadsTalk.com is a place for all you guys to talk to each other. By the way, I don't make any money from anything. Not PotheadsTalk.com and not my YouTube videos. I don't plan on selling you guys any products or advertising to you in any little way. On PotheadsTalk.com, I use this free forum-like thing. So it's like a free service, so it doesn't cost me any money. So um, there might be a point in time where they ask you, hey, do you want a free offer from this one company? And then that's it. I don't think they ever offer you anything ever again. But um, just want to throw that out there so you don't think that, oh, I thought you said there's no advertising. What the heck is this? All right, so anyway, I do this all for, for free, man. I just, I want, I hate, I hate, I hate that, that, that recreational drugs exist. If I could delete them from the face of the earth, I would. And um, because we should all be ourselves instead of being a diminished uh, portion of ourselves, just instead of being a fraction of ourselves, would be much happier. Anyway, not gonna go into that, but yeah, PotheadsTalk.com. Um, so I get emails all the time. I suggest that in addition to emailing me the question you have, I suggest that you copy and paste that exact same question or any questions at all, any feelings you might have, go to PotheadsTalk.com and ask the exact same question there. They will write you back way quicker than I will. There's like people on there that are getting sober. You might there's people that are like four months sober, six months sober, whatever. And they have, it's like, they're really good mentors. I know you want to talk to someone, there's people in there, people write me all the time, oh, they, they want to talk to me, they, they want to, they want more advice, further advice, they have a specific issue or specific something they want to express to someone and they they want they want someone to write them back. Go to puttedsock.com. There are people there that are going through exactly what you went through or they were just there, they just went through that same thing that you're going through right now, they were just there. See, I was there a long time ago, I've been sober for years now. So, not to say that I can't give you good advice too, it's just that their their advice is gonna be way more like fresh because they were just there like six months ago. So anyway, go to PodHeadsTalk.com if you have any questions or if you have anything you wanna express. There's a, all, all you guys have so many similar questions, that's why I know, I knew that would work. So yeah, it, it's already working, there's people on there I've read people saying things like, yeah, if it weren't for this, if it weren't for this guy or that guy or that guy, I wouldn't be sober today. And they're, they're talking about people that they met on that website on potheadsock.com. So go there, go to the website and talk to each other and hopefully you get sober. And if you have any questions, um, you know, hopefully you guys can help each other. It's already happening. So um, anyway, so there's that. Another thing is there's a book that I highly recommend that you get called uh, Purpose Driven Life. By the way, it's not like I don't make any money from this. I never met the author and there's no thing that I, just, I recommend this book. It's uh, even if even if you don't do drugs and never done drugs, it's not really a book on drugs or anything or quitting drugs, but this book will, will, will enhance your life in a great way if you read it. Um, it's called Purpose Driven Life. What on earth am I here for? And on the cover, there's a tree. Um, they sell this book at Walmart. They sell it at Sam's Club. I just looked it up on Amazon. It's uh, two dollars on Amazon. Um, and in case you're the kind of person, in case you feel a little discouraged, oh, I don't read books. You know, I read my first book when I was 19 years old, straight up. Um, the book that I've completed before that was The Cat in the Hat in like first grade. And I'm not trying to be funny. It's the truth. I've never read a book before in my life, other than The Cat in the Hat, until I was 19 years old. It's an easy to read book. It's a really cool book. Uh, you're supposed to read um, every day. You're supposed to read that book every day. It's kind of like they tell you, okay, day one, read this, day two, read this, day three, read this. Um, it's changing people's lives. Um, one of my closest friends um, was a cokehead and everything, and he started reading that book and slowly changed his life into a much better person. He's like almost done with the book, and he's sober. Um, anyway, so read that book if you can. Another another thing I just want to say was um, a piece of advice that I, nev I probably didn't throw out there or didn't express too much in any of the other videos was, make you or break you moment. You should create a make you or break you moment. Force a make you or break you moment to happen in your life. Like right now. Make it happen tonight. 
make it happen or whatever day night morning whatever make it happen right now for you um make you break your moment is basically a decision that you make in your life that will either make you or break you for a lot of tweakers for a lot of people who do hard drugs like meth or heroin or something they the their make you breaking moment was the decision they made to try tweak or to try heroin for instance a heroin addict can say the the make their the moment in their life that broke them was the mo was a decision to try heroin that decision broke them and then someone who can say some sober person could say i had to make you break your moment in my life i decided to get sober one day and that was a moment that made me um, so you can force a decision like that right now you can create and make your breaking moment and i suggest that you do that if you're not sober yet i mean there's a lot of ways a lot of decisions you can make that can make you or break you you could decide to um, I don't know, you could decide <laughs> mostly drug related things that come to my mind, but uh, there's a lot of decisions that can either make you or break you. Um, you know, you could decide to cheat on your spouse or something, and that could be the decision that you made that broke you. You know what I mean? Uh, you could decide to do something wrong, and that could be the decision that you made that broke you. So I suggest you make a decision that will make you. So force it right now, force the decision, ask yourself this question Do I want to get sober? Do I want to get sober? Do I want to be a sober person? Do I want to be clean from, do I not want to get high anymore? I'm pretty sure that you don't want to get high anymore. I'm pretty sure that you want to be sober. Otherwise, you wouldn't look these videos up. You wouldn't click on these videos. I'm pretty sure that that's what you want. And I can guarantee you this. It's not a, it's not an opinion. It's definitely fact. Being sober is like a billion times better than being high. And I never met anybody who became sober that said, this totally blows. I can't wait till I get high again. I have met a lot of people that say, this totally blows, I wish I was sober. It takes a lot to admit that, but um, a lot of people wouldn't know what it's like to be sober, and so they can't really say that being high is better than being sober because they've never been sober, or they haven't been sober in years, etc. You heard me say that a million times in my other videos. Anyway, so I highly recommend that you try it out. Um, I mean, I highly recommend that you, um, that you create a make you break you moment for you, like right now. Ask yourself, do I want to get sober? And then be serious and firm, 100% confident, certain that um, in this decision, don't be just, don't be halfway, maybe kind of, yeah, whatever. Don't just doze around and scrape your feet. Be, be more sure about this than anything you've ever been sure about in your entire life and create that moment. Okay, I decide right now. I decide right now, excuse me, I kind of burped or something. I decide right now that I want to be sober, that I want to quit drugs. I, just, I make that decision right now. And that will be the decision that made you right now on this moment. You should write it down on a piece of paper. You should write it down, I decided to quit on this day at this time. Write down the date, write down the time. Maybe even have a countdown. Be like 10, 9, as if it's like, as if it's like um, New Year's Eve. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Get up, jump, clap. Be happy, pray to God, be like, you know what, I'm this is it. I'm really gonna I'm really gonna try now, I'm really gonna do this. I'm re I'm I'm really gonna actually make effort to be sober now. I made the decision, now all I have to do is apply my effort. Um by the way, real quick side note, my advice is only as good as your effort. I can have million dollar advice, I can have perfect advice, not saying that I do, but I can give you the most perfect advice you could have ever 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 looked for could have ever found the best advice you could have ever freaking gotten but my advice is only as good as your effort I can give you million dollar advice but if you never take a step my advice was worthless useless you know what I mean so you have to try you have to, you have to actually apply yourself I know that's like something you don't want to hear but you really have to apply yourself um, it's not hard I mean kind of is but it, in a way, it's easier than it is to do drugs. To do drugs, you have to like go out of your way, go find it, go get blah, 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 blah. To be sober, all you gotta do is just stay still and don't do anything. Just don't smoke drugs. It's easy. Like, um, I know it's easy and it's hard, blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's a weird thing. Thought I would just say that. Anyway, have a countdown. Be serious. Um, be more 100% um, than you've ever been. And be serious. Be so serious that, like, think about all the things you're gonna do differently now. Like, okay. I just quit, so I'm not gonna need my bongs. I'm not gonna need my pipes. 
go find them right this minute. Don't procrastinate this. Don't be like, oh, don't push it off till later, okay, because it brings you anxiety to even think about this. Go find your bong and break it. Go find your pipe and break it. Go find your lighters and throw them out the window. Break them. Get them wet. Get them wet. If you get your lighters wet, they won't work. Go get your lighters wet. Go get the weed wet and then smash it in the dirt, flush it in the toilet. Um, whatever. Light your zigzags on fire. Like, get them out of your way. Like, why would you even need them? Be, be so serious that you break. Like, if you break your bong, I'm pretty sure you'd be like, all right, that's it. I, I'm serious now. Like, that is the most serious thing. I've, the most biggest step I've ever taken towards quitting before. Like, I just broke that bong. Like, there's no turning back now. You know what I mean? I'm not going to, like, relapse tomorrow. I just wasted a perfectly good bong. Just get it out of the freaking way. To have a bong is... Like, if there were ever a time to be a freaking pothead, it was a long time ago. Like, you're growing up. You know what I mean? It Just give it up, bro. Like, that's the way I look at it. If there was ever a time for me to be screwing up, it was, like, back when I was 15 years old. And it was supposed to just be a one-time thing or, like, a once-in-a-while thing, a every-so-often thing, just on special occasions. I started doing it every single day for years and years and years. It's time to let it go, man. It's a childish thing for me to keep doing this every day. It's, like, sad. It's, like, the, I don't even want to tell people about it because it's, like, sad. It's, like, a sign of weakness. I can't stop this. Why? You know what I mean? Just give it up. Um, now, now look, if you watched enough of these videos, you probably would have heard all the <laughs> advice you could possibly ever get, especially if you watched all the videos. Like, there's probably not one ounce of advice left that I can think of to give you. Maybe there is. Maybe there's some, some more within that I can eventually get out. But I think you might have heard enough that you need to hear if you watch all these videos. And I think... What's left is your is your your steps, your effort, you putting in your work now. I mean, once you know what you have to do, once you know where you want to go, the destination is sobriety, you know what you want to do, you want to get sober, and you have the directions, you know what steps you need to take. All that's left is your effort. All that's left is your next your next step is to take a step. There's no more research you need to do. There's no more YouTube videos you need to watch. Well, keep, you know, I mean, <laughs> go on podcasttalk.com. I'm not saying turn it off and just cut yourself off. Go to podcasttalk.com. There's like a community of people just like you that are all like getting sober. You'll meet people there that are in the exact same boat as you. Like, hey, I haven't quit yet. I, I want to. Today's going to be my first day, or Monday's going to be my first day. You also be, meet people there like, hey, I'm I'm one week sober. I'm three weeks sober. I'm three months sober. I'm one month sober. I'm five months, six months, a year, four years, whatever. Everybody's there. It's a perfect place to be. In real life, you might not know anybody that's quit weed. You might not have any friends that are quitting. So that's why I created that website because I was pretty sure it'd be like a great little, little um, community, you know, support, you know, help each other out. Even though it's on the internet, I think it'd be cool. So go there. <laughs> but um, it's like, it's like you're trying to figure out how to get from A to B. You don't know the directions you need to take. So you go figure them out. You know what I mean? You go figure them out. And I feel like you probably have already figured out the directions for how to get from A to B. You know how to get there now. Just turn the freaking key on, start the ignition, apply pressure to that gas pedal, and move this thing. You know what I mean? Start moving towards B. B is sobriety. Get there. Go from here to there. Go from here to that victory. Go from here to that to that amazing paradise land that I told you about. It really does exist. Um, I would not make 30 plus videos about it if it weren't. Um, people would not be getting sober right now if it didn't exist, if it wasn't much better. It is, it's totally worth doing. Um, rich people would probably say, I give up my entire bank account to be sober. I mean, after they got sober, they'd be like, hey, this is worth more than money. Like, I would. If I were still doing drugs, I would give it all away if I had to, just to be sober. If that were required, I would do it. Um, now, another thing is, a lot of people ask, a lot of people write me and they ask me for advice. Um, they they say, hey, I watched your video. They might watch one or two or three videos and then say, hey, um, and they ask me for for more advice, like, and they want me to write them back. And I always wind up saying stuff that I have already said in other videos. Um, so. Maybe they watch like one video, say they watch this video, and then they'll instantly write me. And they always wind up just repeating stuff that I've already said. Um, so I'm not saying don't write me, can write me anyway, but 
go and watch the other videos too. Like, I think the most specific how-to advice is in 4, 5, and 6. I mean, I can't even remember now. I know 4, 5, and 6 do have really good advice, but just watch them all, like whatever. If you get time, just be like, hey man, I'm gonna eat my lunch, I'm gonna watch video number seven now. Tomorrow I'm gonna watch video number eight, whatever. Freaking, instead of like playing freaking uh, PS3 or whatever, or instead of doing whatever you do, just watch another video. You'll eventually hear everything I would ever possibly think of to say. I always, in an email, I usually am just repeating stuff that I say in these videos. Um, and it's been so busy that I haven't been able to write these people back. So, I mean, you might write me and not hear from me for a really long time. So, in that meantime, watch <laughs> watch all these videos or watch watch the most watched ones or something. Four, five, and six are really good, um, I think. And the New Year's ones, I think, have some really good motivating stuff in there. And so, yeah, watch those videos. And another thing is, Potheads Talk already has really good mentors. Um, um, I wrote that down, but I already told you. Yeah, PodheadsTalk.com already has some really good mentors on there, so they're kind of like, kind of like me in a way, you know, other versions of me from all over the world or whatever. And um, they're like, they're good. They're, I mean, they're someone on there I was talking to recently was saying, thank you so much. Um, if it weren't for and he started naming people on the on the site, if it weren't for this guy, this guy, this tell me their usernames. If it weren't for this this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Or, or I think he said thanks. I owe all my sobriety to these guys because they were so helpful. Um, so go on there. And then two more things. Um, one, I recommend this. Uh, I'm gonna try and remember to, to put the to put his YouTube um, ID in in the little information bar right there. His name is E. T. the Hip Hop Preacher. If you just write that on YouTube search bar, you'll find it. Or you can go to youtubecom preacher. Um, he's a motivational speaker, but man, he's the best motivational speaker I've ever, ever seen. Even though I'm sober, I still watch him just because he motivates me to do anything. Like he motivates me here with work. He motivates me in all kinds of ways. Um, there's a video he has, I think it has a million hits, um, or close to it. It's like a two part video. Watch it, watch it, watch, the, watch his videos, watch some of them, watch the most watched ones. If you click on his videos, you can sort them out by most viewed. Watch them. They're so freaking motivating. Like, they'll motivate you to do anything. They pay that guy to go, like, cross, fly across the country to talk to, like, professional basketball players now and stuff. He's really good. Um, E.T., the hip-hop preacher. And, dang, there was one more thing I wanted to say. Sorry, it's, it's, it's like, really late at night. I'm still working. Um, let's see here. Dang, I had one more thing I wanted to say. I'm sorry, man. I can't even remember so watch that oh um there's a video there's a video that I like a music video I recommend uh, it's called look the the name of the artist is Lecrae L-E-C-R-A-E and um, the name of the song is take me as I am and just type take me as I am lyrics watch the one with lyrics it's ba it's not a music video but it just displays the lyrics I want you to read the lyrics of this song and listen to the song um, so just listen to the whole song. Do me that favor. If you if you if you respect me or if you feel like like hey man, uh, you owe me anything or anything like that, do me a favor and watch that whole video and listen to the lyrics and pay attention. Don't be distracted, please. That song has changed people's lives. I know a kid that changed his life. Um, in a way, it's moved me and changed my life. I pr I'm pretty sure that some of you guys will watch that video and it will change your life listen to the lyrics of the song please and last but not least it feel like it feel like uh, it wouldn't be fair if I did not mention this I owe all things that are good in my life to my Lord Jesus Christ um, I know some of you might stop this right here or might not want to continue watching this but Jesus Christ is, is my Lord and Savior, and if it, weren't for, if it weren't for God, I wouldn't be sober today. If it weren't for God, so many so many good things would not exist for me right now. I think it's a miracle that you've made it this far. If you if you watch these, any of these videos, I think it's a miracle that, that even that has happened. There are people that um, will probably continue to smoke for their whole life and they haven't even taken the step that you have taken. If you've taken the step to type type in how to quit smoking weed, whatever it is that you did to get to wind up here watching this video, that's a miracle, man. That's that's more than that's more than um, about one hundred percent of the friends that I have 
have ever done. I know a lot, a lot, a lot of people that smoke weed. I don't hang out with any of them anymore. I'll hang out with most of them. Anymore. I don't hang out with anybody anymore. I'm just kind of busy right now. But um, I know a lot of people that smoke weed. None of them have gotten sober, taken any steps of getting sober. If you've typed that in, if you've looked that up, you've done, you, you've done like 100% more than any of my friends have done. You've done like, you're already making amazing progress. So <laughs> I wish you well. Sorry if I'm not all like energetic like usual, which is really late at night right now. <laughs> and I'm uh, kind of tired. Um, but I've lived both lives. I know what it's like to be a potted. I know what it's like to be someone who gets high every day. I know what it's like to be you, if that's you. I know what it's like to live that lifestyle. And now I know what it's like to be a sober person. I know what it's like to not have that in my life. And I can't even put into words the difference. There is a huge, 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 huge difference. I know most people would say there is no difference. Like people who still do drugs would say there is no difference. But hey, they would never know because they've never been sober. So how would they know? Um, there is a humongous difference. And being sober beats the living daylights out of being high any single day. 500 billion to one. I recommend you try it out. I wish you well, okay? Take it easy and go to pottedstalk.com. Um, you can chat as a guest. You don't even have to make an account. Okay, so um, yeah, you guys, take it easy. Bye.